Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordi, and if you're new here, today's video is going to be a brief get ready with me with some new products and some updates on some products that I've tried before. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. So for foundation today, we're going to be going in with the Tom Ford Choice of Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 10.5 Mocha. I do like the way that this looks on my complexion. It's very pretty. It's very skin-like. Um, but I'm going to be trying out a new setting spray today. So I want to see if the setting spray will help the longevity a little bit more. I'm just going in with the Sephora collection brush. Anybody else breaking out on their chin because of the mask? <laughs> I'm so upset. It's like I'll get it under control and then the next thing you know, the next week, I'll have more breakouts. Okay, so this is what the foundation is looking like at the moment. It does look very skin-like. It looks beautiful. So I'm going to be going in with concealer. I'm finally going to be trying out the Hourglass. What are these called? Vanish concealers. I should have been trying these out in January, but you know, here we are. So I have two different shades. I have Umber and I have Maple. So Umber is going to be more of a color correcting shade. So I'm going to use that around my mouth. Is there a couple of dots? I do like the applicator. A little bit under my eye to color correct. So the Vanish Concealer is supposed to be medium to full coverage, long wear. And then now I'm going to highlight with the shade Maple. I'm going in with the Sephora Collection number 57 concealer brush just to blend this out. I like this color. Concealer is very smooth. It looks very smooth under my eye area and not dry at all. I thought it was going to look a little bit dry since I had it's set a bit, um, but let's see. It doesn't look dry. So this is what we're looking like with concealer. That concealer is lightweight. Like it doesn't look or feel heavy on my complexion at all. So this is my complexion without any powder. It's nice. Okay. So for my under eye area, I'm gonna go in with the usual, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number three. So if you watch my recent haul, then you know that I picked up number four in the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. So I want to try that all over my face today. You guys, if you hear any background noise, my daughter is playing, the AC is on, and the people upstairs are making noise. So I do apologize, but you know, this is life. And I need to film, so here we are. <laughs> so this is what number four looks like. So it is darker. So let's do a comparison again so you guys can see. This is number three and this is number four. So my number three is called Dark, but they did change the name to Tan now. And this one, number four, is Deep. I'm gonna be using the number 59 brush from Sephora Collection to apply that. Ooh, it's dark, oh my God, wait, hold up. Okay, it's a good color. Um, I shouldn't have put it right in the middle of my forehead because I wanted to keep that bright, but <laughs> that's okay. We'll just dust it around.
That's a good color. Yay. Good. So I'm adding a little extra powder today to see if that will help with just the longevity of like the smile line area with this foundation. I like this foundation though. I think it's pretty. I was just like, oh, I thought it would, you know, wear a little bit longer, but it's pretty. All right, so my face with powder <laughs> looks very smooth, looking good. I'm just gonna go back in with a bit of the number three. for the center of my forehead, just to bring that um, highlight back. There we go. All right, so for bronzer, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the Gucci bronzer. So you guys, I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush bronzer. This is my favorite, like hands down, favorite bronzer of all time, I think, um, at the moment. <laughs> it's beautiful. So this Gucci bronzer, it's a little bit more red and it has a little bit more luminosity to it. So I like to use them together nowadays. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna be going in with the refer number five brush. It looks like that. This bronzer, it smells. <laughs> This one gives you a little bit more of that ready warmth. Whereas I feel like Charlotte, that bronzer just gives you like a true bronze. Like if you want to look like you got a tan, get the airbrush flawless bronzer. With the same brush, I'm going in with a bit of the Charlotte Silver Airbrush Bronzer and number four, deep. Yeah, deep. Oh no, right. There we go. Look at the cheekbones. And just a little bit on my temples, right there. So let me bring them out, set the night light. Shining through the city with the little fucking soul. I like So for blush, I'm going to go in with the Lip Bar Fresh Glow Bronzer and Blush Duo. It looks like this, so this is the bronzer. This is the blush, so I'm gonna be using this blush today. As you can see, it has a nice glow to it, so I won't be using any highlighter, just the blush. I'm using the Sephora number 50 brush. My color is so pretty. So there we go, so blush and highlight in one, basically. Really pretty. All right, so I did my brows off camera. These are what they're looking like. I used the Mented Brow Pencil in the shade Brow Now, but we're gonna be moving on to eyes. So I'm gonna be going in with the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson a Tiny Marbles Palette. I love Mel, so I had to buy this. So I'm excited to try this out. I will insert swatches of the palette just for you guys who like those. My eyes are primed already with the Anastasia Eye Base mixed with a little bit of the Hourglass Concealer. So this is the outer packaging of the palette, similar to the Unicart Ink. This is cute. This is the inside of the palette. Really nice color story. So you have some pastels, some neutrals. This is nice, some pretty shimmers. I'm excited to try it. I wanna really play with the green in the palette, this one right here. Green is my favorite color, so I really wanna play with that. This color I'm gonna be going in with is this one here. It's called Walking Stick. It's like a olive color. So well, that is what Walking Stick is looking like on my complexion. It actually is coming up pretty true to color, <laughs> which is great. All right, so that is what my crease is looking like. I want to go in with a bit of spider now to deepen this up. That's what we're looking like so far. These eyeshadows blend 
really well. They're like so buttery. There's no skipping or anything at all. Like, they're nice. Does that mean I have to place another order for Sydney Gray's eyeshadows? I think so. I think so. Yeah, this looks so good. Like, look at that. Just two colors. Nice. Well, I'm gonna go in with the green right there, Mantis, all over my lid. I'm taking a very small flat brush just so I can get into the crease. So just using that small flat shadow brush, I place the green in the crease. That is really saturated. Like it doesn't even look ashy at all. I like it. All right, I'm going in with the flat shadow brush just to place that all over. So that's what we look like with mantis all over the lid. I love it. It looks so pretty. I think I want to go in with a bit of scarab though. This um, color right here, I think it's a duochrome. It is a duochrome. Um, I'm going to place a little bit of that between mantis and spider. All right, so I'm using my finger to place scarab. Oh, that's pretty. Go back in with spider just to blend. I'm going back in with walking stick, that first like olive color that we had, and just blending out the crease. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, Fire Butts. This like greeny gold shimmer. I am gonna wet my brush because I just want it to be very precise. The shade is pretty pigmented though. And we're gonna place that right in the inner corner up to the inner crease. Oh. I love it. So this is what my eyes are looking like. It's pretty. Do you guys like it? I like it. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of brow highlight. I'm not gonna do a shimmery brow highlight because I'm just not about that life. But we're gonna go in with this one right here. It's called Tree Hopper. Um, it's a matte, like beigey tone, mid brown for like somebody who's lighter, but beigey for me. Um, so I'm gonna just put it right here. I might have to bring the matte highlight back. I haven't done that in a long time. Alright, so I'm just blending the inner part of my crease. I'm gonna go in with a bit of a beige liner. This is the Sephora Collection Coconut Liner. Yep, coconut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the bottom lash line as well while we're here. I'm gonna go back in with spider. I'm gonna go in with some scarab. So next we're gonna be going in with the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. This mascara claims to give you instant volume, stretch, effect, length, and anti-gravity lift. I feel like it gives a lot of length and lift, but I don't know about volume. So this is what the component looks like. I really like this packaging. And then that is what the brush looks like. So kind of an hourglass shape. So that's one layer of the mascara. It actually looks really nice. <laughs> but I feel like, see, I feel like it's more length than volume. You get a lot of length and separation. I like that, don't get me wrong. I am gonna layer it up though so we can see what it does. Okay, 
So that is what the mascara looks like on both eyes. I like that I get a lot left. I feel like the, what's the name of the first one? Oh my god, I forgot the name of it. I had it in my head just now. Anyway, I'll put the name up on the screen. I feel like that first mascara had a bit more volume than this one. This is giving me a little bit more length, separation, and lift. And I feel like both of those together would be really nice. This isn't bad though, so I do like length and separation. But I would just like a little bit more volume. Let me show you what it looks like layered up. Alright, so that's two layers. Not bad. Don't mind all the eyeliner on my contact lens. I'll go clean it off. So two layers of mascara on both eyes. It's nice. It looks nice. Next for the eyes, I'm gonna just be applying some lashes. I picked up the House of Lashes and Patrick Ta collection. So I picked up the, sh the shades. I picked up the styles. It's a look. That's what it looks like. Let's see that. It's a look. And then this one is She's a Natural. That's what that looks like. I like these. I feel like they'll just give you a little extra volume. Yeah, I think I want to do She's a Natural. Okay, so we have lashes on. These are what they're looking like. Pretty natural. Just gives a little bit more added volume to your natural lashes. I like them. I think that they're not too overwhelming. You can still see the eye look and you just get a little bit more thickness to your natural lash. So I'm just gonna pop on the MAC and Tiana Taylor collection. I have the lip liner in the shade Chestnut. Okay, so that is the lip liner. It's a deep brown. And this is the component for the lipstick. Isn't this cute? It's like so futuristic. Let me get that. That is the color of the lipstick. This one is in the shade I Got a Man. Yep. And that's a swatch of the lipstick. Pretty neutral. Yep, this, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. It's a neutral nude with a hint of pink, a little bit of pink in it. But it's not really that pinky. Well, this is really pretty. I love this. This looks so good. I, I love it. Yes. But this is the gloss in the shade, but ain't got no manners. Alright guys, so this is basically my finished makeup. So the last thing I have to do is just add my setting spray. We're going to be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. I would say air blush, blush, air brush, flawless finish setting spray. The bottle looks like this. I have used this before and I feel like it's very blurring and long wearing. So we'll just see. Oh my God, I just sprayed it like right in my eye. <laughs> Too close. All right. I'm gonna concentrate most of it around my mouth because that's where my makeup breaks up. Okay, so after kind of drying, this is what the setting spray looks like. It has a nice glow to it, so it just gave my face back a glow. I did feel like the powder did help to kind of mattify the foundation a little bit more, but this is more my vibe. I like a glow to my skin. So we'll see how this foundation wears. I'm probably gonna keep it on for like four to five hours. Is that really gonna tell me a difference? I have other videos to film, you guys, and I'm back at work full time, so I don't really, like I need to film these videos. So I'll keep you up I'll keep you updated, okay? Just look down in the comments down below and I'll keep you updated on this longevity of the foundation with the setting spray. Give me some time, okay? I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So um just to piggyback on some of the products that we use today, so the eyeshadow palette, oh my god, the blendability was amazing. Um and not just because I love Mel. These eyeshadows are very buttery and they blend very nice. I'm like surprised. Sydney Grace, yes, indie brands are really killing it. I I am gonna buy some more eyeshadows, especially the shimmers. Like when I swatched them, I was like, oh my god, these are insane, and the mattes are so smooth, very smooth. So I really like this. The brush, I like this brush too for bronzer. I'm actually really happy with it. I normally go in with like a bigger brush for my bronzer, either the 50 or. This is the Wayne Goss Artist Large Brush, or where's my other brush that I normally use? 
it's somewhere around here dirty um <laughs> but i normally use a larger brush but i like how um kind of tapered this one was it just got right there into my cheekbone just to give me a little bit more of a lift i like this brush it's nice i like the lashes too i feel like the mascara gave me a lot of length but i could use the little extra volume that i was talking about like for instance what mascara do i love that gives me volume once you are big from long comb caution from hourglass those give me the volume that I am normally looking for. So I'm not mad at the mascara, but I want a little bit more volume. We revisited the Gucci bronzer in this video, and like I mentioned while applying it, it is a little bit more of that red warmth to your complexion, whereas my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer is a little bit more of a true tan, which I like. So if you guys were thinking about picking up either one, I would recommend the Charlotte if you want more of a true tan, the Gucci if you want more luminosity and warmth to your complexion. The lip, a typical nude lip, nice formula it's your typical mac formula so if you're familiar with mac products i think you'll like them i really do like the colors though i think they're sold out though so sorry but i just wanted to wear it it's pretty and then the concealer the concealer i know it was good but you know when you put it on your own skin you're just like wow the smoothness of the concealer is like really really good <laughs> like it's smooth you guys it is smooth like my under eye it's not even i had this makeup on for about an hour because my camera died i had to charge it the it's no creasing it doesn't look dry it looks it looks nice i'm not mad at it at all so that's about it for the products i will leave everything linked down below if you're interested in picking anything up let me know if you tried anything from this video let me know your thoughts on any of the products that i tried out today like how are you feeling about some of these products i also want to mention that i love a luminous blush nowadays because I don't have to actually put on a highlighter I still get that glow but color as well I'm, I'm loving that at the moment I feel like my skin is just giving me life with just a luminous blush no highlight you know it's not too much going on at the moment you just get that slight glow from the blush so this um lip bar duo is giving it to me I like it a lot so that's gonna be it guys Please give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Jordine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.